Hello there, Colette here again. Today in keeping with our theme of sharing our free tools uh, for our business, we're going to look at a software called Earthen View, which is great for resizing your images. It's called Earthen View. I always say it improperly. I usually say Eifren View, but it's Earthen View, I-R-F-A-N View. And if you go to EarthenView.com, you can download it onto your computer and it's free to use and it is a wonderful tool. I use it on a daily basis. All right, so the first thing you have to do is um, go to your file here to find the image that you want to resize. So we're just going to go back to my messy desktop. Yes, I have not cleaned it up yet. And I'm going to find an image that I want to use. Uh, let's, here we go. All right. So now let's just assume that I want to resize this image and make it smaller because it's not the size that I want it to be. This is a clickable ad that I use when I'm uh, doing some free ads on Craigslist and Backpage, whatnot. So here we go. Now, once the image is there, you just have to click on image. And please don't be too concerned about all of this, this, this long list of choices you have. For today, we're just going to be looking at the resize and resample. So just click on resize, resample. It's showing me that this current size of this image is 336 by 280 pixels. I'm going to want to reset it. So I'm going to make sure this little dot is, collect on, is, is highlighted, set new size. And all you have to do is uh, delete the size. There you go. And I'm going to make it a 300 by, well, that's not really going to make it much smaller, is it? Let's say we're going to make it, um, come on, baby, 150 by 130. Keep in mind that when you're um, resizing, you want to keep your dimensions proportionate to the actual original size. And what, uh, there we go. So uh, let's say um, 130, it's pretty close. Now you do have other options here. You can half the image, double the image. Uh, just This just makes it a lot quicker if this is what you're doing. I'm always using this side personally because I'm usually very specific with the size I need. Um, it's great for uh, favicons. You can even go as small as a 16 by 16 for your favicons. So that's the size. A favicon, if you're not sure what that is, um, when somebody's looking at your website, the little tab on the top of their toolbar here that shows what windows they have open, uh, you can actually customize the image that's in that little favicon to reflect your website or your business. It's uh, it. it customizes it and makes it look much more professional. It's just one of those little things that you can do. So with this tool, you can very easily uh, create an image with your X header, which is the other tool we spoke of earlier, and then resize it to the 16 by 16 pixel to use as a favicon. Also for uh, thumbnails, for ads, like your Facebook ads, I believe they're a specific size 308 by 308 pixels. So here you go. You have this free tool and it's really quick and there you go. Good to go. So okay, all we have to do now is press OK. And it's been resized. Now, I've got the zoom on right now. That's why it's not changing. So now you want to file your image. So you're going to hit File and Save As and rename it and put it wherever you like on your desktop like I do. That's why mine's so messy. <laughs> your downloads, wherever it is that you want to put it, pictures. Uh, and that's all there is to it. It's that simple. Just choose an image, go to the file, open, choose an image off of your computer, go to Image, resize it, press OK, file it, and you're done. That's all there is to it. It's fast, it's easy, and it's free. All right, so I'm going to cut this one short, and uh, we'll see you next time in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.